Did you know that one in three people will have their C. difficile return again? Relapses are not your fault. It's the healthcare system that's failing you because it's giving you partial and incomplete solutions. In this video, you will learn why C. difficile is such a hard superbug to kill. I'll also share with you why the healthcare system often falls short when it comes to stopping relapses. And finally, a simple plan that you can use to stop the relapse cycle for good. My name is Michelle Moore, and I used to work as a microbiologist in the pharmaceutical industry. And for the last 20 plus years, I've worked as a holistic health educator, helping people overcome chronic infections. This video is for educational purposes only and should not be considered medical advice. If you do need medical advice, be sure to talk to your doctor. C. difficile creates spores. These are like little tiny seeds that stay in your gut. They can live in your house and they're like little armored tanks. They're very impervious to heat or antibiotics or even disinfectants. The C. difficile spores can survive in your gut or in your home for weeks or even months. C. difficile is also a superbug infection. That means it's resistant to a lot of different kinds of antibiotics. So antibiotics might work in the short term, but frequently C. diff will rear its ugly head again after that antibiotic treatment is over. So C. difficile bacteria are quite contagious uh, because of the spores they produce. If you've been sick, those spores are still gonna be in your house for some time, whether it's your bathroom or any other high touch surfaces. Because it's contagious, you can also pick it up in public restrooms or hospital settings. Now C. difficile is also hard to clean up in your house. Because of those spores, they're very difficult to disinfect and most cleaning products will not kill the actual spores. So unless you're using a hospital quality bleach, those spores will still be sticking around in your bathroom and on high touch surfaces like faucet handles and doorknobs. And adding to all these difficulties with C. difficile, there's limited treatment options available in conventional medicine now. There's only a few antibiotics that will actually target C. difficile. If those antibiotics stop working or they're not working, the only other conventional medicine option you'll have is a fecal matter transplant or an FMT. So as tough as C. difficile is to deal with, the way it's treated within the healthcare system can make things even harder. Even though doctors mean well, the system isn't set up to help you fully recover from something as difficult as a C. difficile infection. And it's certainly not geared toward the long-term prevention of recurring infections. The medical system is focused on clearing the immediate infection. And yes, antibiotics can help in the short term, but C. difficile doesn't necessarily go away when your antibiotics are over. And the long-term damage done to your GI system from those antibiotics often goes untreated. Fecal transplants or FMTs are gaining popularity and they can help reset your microbiome. But it may not be 100% successful and sometimes multiple FMTs are required. But unless you support that new flora with the right diet and lifestyle, a gut imbalance can come right back again. And unfortunately, most people are sent home after a clean stool test and that's where their support ends. There's no help in how to rebuild your microbiome, no nutrition guidance, no information on how to deal with the spores still lurking in your home or in your GI system, and no follow-up on how to prevent a relapse. You're left to simply figure it out on your own. And so the C. diff cycle continues, not because you're not trying, but it's because you haven't been given the tools that you need. So what is the path to real recovery? Let's walk through that next. 
There is no magic pill when it comes to C. difficile, but there is a plan, one that works if you commit to it. So long-term success will require a shift in your mindset. This isn't about an all-out war. It's about a strengthening and rebuilding of your internal ecosystem. Because those C. diff spores can stay in your gut for months or even years, it's important to shift your focus to how you can maintain a strong microbiome. How can you nourish those good bacteria so that can keep C. diff bacteria in check and keep them from overgrowing again? So probiotics, prebiotics, and a gut healing diet can help nurture and support that internal ecosystem so you can hold the line against that C. diff from coming back again. So two other factors that are commonly overlooked when it comes to stopping the recurring infection cycle are toxin binders that can go in and grab toxins and help soothe the GI system, help it heal, and your diet as some foods can just quietly feed C. difficile while others can help your GI system heal and get stronger over time. All of these ways you can help prevent recurring C. diff infections are included in my free ebook, which you'll find in the description below. But the thing is, while probiotics do help with recurring infections, unless you're getting the right one, you're wasting your time and your money. Most probiotics don't survive your stomach acid and don't even make it into your gut. And many products contain species not normally found in the human gut, so they have no place to call home. If you're like most people, you've probably tried numerous probiotics and you've not noticed any benefit or changes when you've taken them. That was true for me too, which is why I made this video here to walk you through the five traits of effective probiotics for stubborn bacterial challenges like C. difficile.